Okay, so this is my challenge though, so I thought I'd better have a go at doing it, otherwise look a bit stupid. So uh, I've got my phone, um, I'm going to time a minute, and uh, I'm going to talk um, probably nonsense uh, for a minute exactly about um, being the first person to say I love you, that's the one I've chosen for myself. Okay, so uh, I've got my cup of tea, and I've done a little bit of thinking, but I've had one go already, but I forgot to press record. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna go again, ready? Uh, okay, starting now. Uh, so I think what we do is we put too much emphasis on saying I love you, I reckon. So that's the first thing I want to say, that <clears throat> I think uh, love's more about what we do rather than what we say. So sometimes people say, oh, I really love you. And they actually, the way that they behave with the other person means they don't actually really love them. It means that some pe that means that sometimes people kind of get away with like shitty behaviours in relationships, uh, by, but they kind of cover up by saying, oh, but I love you. Um, so I think it's more than just words. But... I guess the point with the words is that it's like you want to say I love you to somebody else to kind of like tell them how you feel about them which is good because it's honest and it's nice to feel that way but then people have different understandings of what love means for them and the different kinds of love and it kind of depends on what how they've experienced love in the past and what kind of love they want for themselves and stuff but also it's to do with like whether they want the other person to say I love you back like they didn't in Star Wars with Han Solo and Princess Leia although they did love each other in the end but it took them a long time. So, um, that's it. I'm done. Uh, that was probably rubbish. Um, so, uh, have your go. Um, and, uh, yeah, follow the rules that are on my blog. And uh, go and find more thingies on my blog. More words. Okay, bye.